and action! to action movie makers training so um, yes we are on day seven day seven um, of tracking our habits and uh, the habit that we're doing is um, doing 100 burpees 100 days with, um, with a 10 kilo vest so I started with 10 second day 20 third day 30 etc and increase it uh, by 10 every day so today we're day seven so we're doing 70 burpees with a 10 kilo vest so yeah, it's, it's going to be tough, but uh, I'm going to have to pace myself um, to get through it. But um, let's, let's just do it. Um, so I'll put the date down today. Oh, it's already in May, so i put down April. We are already in May. Cool. Date's down, and no, it's back to front, because I reversed camera. But uh, yeah, before we start, we'll do our um, dynamic stretching. So again, um, for our dynamic stretching, it's really important to keep up your flexibility, um, especially if you're gonna do um, uh, kicking, stun kicking with, with actors. You really wanna have that control. And having that flexibility with strength gives you that control. With that flexibility, and if you're only relying on strength, you, you kind of like that control. Uh, and that's when you can injure someone else. So it's really important to keep that flexibility combined with that strength. So we'll just get into our dynamic stretching. So we'll do 10 on each side. So again, as before, we'll do 10 stretches on each side. So nice little warm up. So we're doing 70 burpees with the uh, with a 10 kilo vest, and um, yeah. <clears throat> so I'll use the same thing that I did yesterday. So I'll do 10, take a few breathers, do 10, and then keep going and see how far I can go. Um, I feel like I'm struggling. I'll just break it down to five and just keep going until I reach 70. So it's a big challenge, um, but yeah, let's let's get into it. Thank you. 
I'm 20 and I'm feeling it already. It's not a good thing. We'll keep going. Come on. Nice deep breath. Six. Nine. 
Ken. Two more sets. Two more sets. This time. Come on, Come on. Two more. Okay. Okay, one more set. Where I was yesterday. But today I'm struggling more than I did yesterday. I'm not sure why. I think sleep has something to do with it. You don't sleep well at night. Get a little bit more tired. Quick time. Two more sets, come on. Nice deep breath. Now come on. Hey. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, one more set. Yeah. Seven so far. One more thing. Come on, Phil. Deep breaths, come on. Okay, last one, guys. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. That was tough, guys. That was tough. The 70 with a 10 kilo less. Holy shit. I've got three more days to go. Tomorrow 80, day after, uh, day after that 90, and then for the final 100. I have to really dig deep. Really dig deep. But it's good, you know. So what I'm trying to teach myself is to get into the habit, using my habit tracker. When you say you're gonna do something, you go out and do it. And you start, and I start what I finish. Or better, I finish what I start. Whew. That's how puffed I am. So the idea is that I finish what I start. Because I've always gone through the bad habit of starting something and finishing 
and uh, I have to get through this. And I can feel your old self already when you wake up in the morning talking to yourself saying, you know, oh, don't worry about it, forget it, you'll be fine. You know, the last three are tough, don't do it. You know, that's my old self talking. You know, but that's just the, um, the reptile brain talking to yourself. And we all have it, you know. We all have this reptile brain that keeps talking us out of things, talking us out of it. Because what the reptile brain does is, all it's doing is helping you survive, you know. And your habit, no matter what your habit is, whether it's smoking, drinking, fitness, whatever it is, it's a survival, survival mechanism. And your brain doesn't know the difference between something that's good or bad for you. And um, that's when you change something, you're changing that habit, you're changing the survival mechanism of your brain. And that's when your brain starts telling you, do you know what, don't do it, forget it, you'll be fine. Just go back to what you were doing before. But you cannot let that brain convince you otherwise. You know, you gotta go through that patch of feeling uncomfortable. This morning I felt really uncomfortable, you know, doing number seven. It's like, oh man, not because it's gonna to be tough, but because of what my reptile brain was telling me and convincing me that, you know, you know what, no one will care, it doesn't matter. Just stop right here. But committed to something, I wrote it on my habit tracker. And like I say, my habit tracker is what I use as a lie detector. You cannot lie to your habit tracker. The habit tracker is what brings you to that next level. You know, for instance, when you're on a plane and you're going up a level, you're going through that turbulence and you can feel that wobbly turbulence. That's where I am at the moment. I'm at that wobbly turbulence level where my brain's saying, go back down. But I gotta keep fighting. And not so much fighting. I don't like to use the word fighting so much. You know, sometimes it's better to use words like allowing because fighting means a struggle. I have to allow, allow myself to rise up through that turbulence so I can get to that next level. And that next level for me is 80 burpees tomorrow. And once I've done that, I can say, you know what, I've gone through that turbulence. Now I'm at 80. And then I'll feel more turbulence going up to 90. And I feel more turbulence going up to 100. But you gotta go through that turbulence. And I keep telling myself, if I've gone through the turbulence once, I can go through the turbulence twice. You know, like I said, when I was at 60 a while ago, that's where I was yesterday. The important thing for the next 30 day, three days, I'll be 30 steps ahead for where I was today. 30 steps, and that's huge, you know? And that's something that you guys can apply as well. Excellent. We normally have a um, pancake Sunday, so I've just made pancakes, probably not a good thing. But it's good to have one day of um, just have a bit of food that you enjoy. Um, they're actually pancakes, they're crepes, so they're a lot thinner. Uh, probably, probably a bit more healthier than uh, pancakes. But uh, yeah, that's our little Sunday tradition. So I've already made them this morning. And uh, I'm gonna start um, making those pancakes. I'm first gonna have my lemon drink. So I have a lemon drink with a bit of salt, um, organic um, apple cider vinegar and water. So I have that to cleanse myself to alkaline the body. And then when I've done that, I will do a 20 minute meditation where I will do the first five minutes or the first couple of minutes, I'll do the Wim Hof breathing techniques and further alkaline my body because I can feel my body kind of, um, yeah, the, 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 the stress hormones are, are working after doing that exercise and it's got to relax my body into it. So I'll be doing the breathing exercise and I'll do meditation for about 20 minutes. I just focus on my vision and my vision at the moment is my vision for finishing the 100. So, I'll do a post on that later on how you can use your vision and um, your, your meditation to get you to where you want to go. And I've learned some really interesting things about vision. And um, I will share with you once I've done it, because I'm just testing it out myself at the moment. 
I've learned some additional techniques that are amazing. And once I've gone through my hundreds, um, I'll spend, I'll sit down with you guys and talk about how I went through this hundred, the mental preparation and the vision, and how I used vision to get me to that level as well. So you need tools to get you along the way and you need strategies. Um, and that's something I'd, I'd love to share with you guys as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And uh, whew, I will see you guys either later this evening. I'm not sure if I'll do a post this evening on uh, some of my fight stuff. Um, but I'll definitely see you tomorrow morning for 80, 80 burpees. Uh, thank you very much, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.